This is Roby John Rodriguez, and this, Roby, is your big 20. Are you ready for 20 quick fire questions covering everything ever? Of course I am. Of course you are, that's what I like. Okay, uh, right, easy one to start with. Uh, there's you, there's your brother Roxy, there's your brother Rusty, there's little Vigi. Who's the best at darts? Silly question. Of course me. <laughs> it, but is it though? Is it though? Because Rusty always smashes you up on the practice board, doesn't he? That's why I don't practice with him. <laughs> <laughs> but they never, the Roxy beat me once on a PDC, but that's it. That's it. So, that's so it. You are, you're, you're the better player because you win the big games? True. Okay, that's fair enough. When it matters, I'm there. If it wasn't for darts, what would you be doing with your life? Um, might be a doctor already. Dentist doctor. Oh yeah, you're a dental assistant. That's what you trained as, isn't it? Yeah. When, when was the last time you were inside somebody's mouth? But, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> um, long time ago. Long time ago, long time okay, ago. okay. Um, but you, you tried your hand at other things. You had a, a pub that you ran with your brother for a bit, didn't you? Yeah. The, what was it, the Robin Hood? You called the, the Sherwood Forest. The Sherwood Forest, I knew it was a Robin Hood thing. Yeah. Okay, how, did, how, did the, that, how long did that last? Not for long, because um, there was a time when I was gone a lot, uh, a lot of times to play, uh, to play the PDC tour. Roxy started his uh, family um, with kids and it wasn't uh, good. Nobody was there all the time and it was hard work. Mm -hmm. It was good that I experienced that, but we'll never ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, cats or dogs? Are you an animal person? Not really, but if dogs. Dogs, yeah. have you got any pets? No. No. You live up in the mountains now. You could like have, you could have all sorts. Uh, we have with, uh, um, with my father-in-law, we have he got roughly 300 sheep, so... 300 sheep? Yeah, he's a... a farmer. Farmer, yeah. Okay. Shepherd. So, yeah. Okay, right. Um, dream holiday destination? Maldives. Maldives. Been there? No. No? It's on the list? It is on the to-do list. Okay. Where's, where's the best place you've been already? Philippines. Oh, of course. You go back there all the time, though, right? Not all the time. Last time was uh, 2000. 18. Okay. Should have gone 2019, but uh, there was uh, the operations. I already booked everything, but all of a sudden there was some problems and uh, I cancelled everything. Are you a sort of active holiday person? Do you go out and do this by the pool or the beach? Do absolutely nothing. Do absolutely nothing. Lazy. I've heard that. I've heard <laughs> that. You know, yeah, I've, I've heard that from your management team. Um, right. What's the weirdest thing you've seen in a game of darts? And bearing in mind. You are a pairs partner of Mensor Sulevich and have been for some time. I'm expecting a good answer here. What is the weirdest thing? Yeah. Us missing doubles against Scotland last year. That, oh, in the World Cup, yeah. in the final. That was weird. You, they, <laughs> you weren't missing much in that game. Not really, but the, we did. The immediate thing I think of uh, is at that same tournament where mm. you went and reached the final is Mensor's weird Panther celebration Walk over across to me? the stairs. <laughs> what yeah. was that? Uh, we were talking about it. He don't know what he was doing. Because uh, <laughs> I was on the floor kneeing on myself because I, I was relieved to win that. It was against Northern Ireland. And he was just, OK, let's do this. And he don't know what why he did, did it. But yeah. uh, What's it been like growing up in darts with this sort of really significant figure? in Austria, Mentor Sulevich being like a friend and a practice partner and maybe not a mentor, but somebody who's been such a big part of your life while you've been growing up. Yeah, it was, it was, I was always looking up to him. Um, he carried me to the tournaments in Aust uh, back in Austria and never ever paid anything when I was a youth player. He just, come on, let's go to this soft tip tournament, let's go to this tournament. So he kept me in the, in the tournaments and uh, he drove me there. And like I said already, he's like a second father for me. Um, when I had my biggest problems, he was there. He called me every single day while I was um, in hospital with my daughter. So it's not, it's not a friend, it's really a family and uh, yeah. Oh, that's it's nice. Hard. <laughs> right, let's do some more fluffy ones. Uh, what music are you into? All kind of music. Oh, okay, what's, what's the last things you listen to on your phone or iPod or whatever? Are we gonna check? Or are I'll we gonna check find it. out? But you, it, it's everything you're it into. It is right? everything. It could be anything, then. Yeah. So it could be Celine Dion. 
could be. Or it could be something that Devin But I know because um, half an hour before my game, I listened to German love songs. German love yeah. songs? But before wow. that, I do um, uh, normal music, all, all, all kind of music, but it's a lot of calm, keep calm music, so no, not hard style, nothing. Okay. No hard style at all. Just nice and chill. Yeah. Nice and chill. Is that what you listen to when you're practicing? Like a, I have a practice? routine. I have uh, my app uh, where I have my um, favorite songs, mm -hmm. and roughly half an hour I just go to, it's called Deutsche Poesie. Okay. Um, German, yeah, it's like think about music. Okay, so, yeah. so that's that's getting you into the zone to play. So, yeah. Okay. Right. Just to keep me calm. You've, I mean, you, you've won some fans recently. You've heard some like German rapper who's become a, a big fan oh, of yours yeah. lately. Yeah. That he, he's he's a singer. He he's on my list as well. He is. He's uh, all right. Um, we text um, a lot of times now, and uh, we might meet each other one one day. Who have you ever been starstruck? Have you ever met somebody so famous that you've got quite nervous? Yourself, yes. Yeah, I mean, obviously. No, yeah, I mean, apart from me, I get that a lot, Roby. You know. That. Uh, to be fair, my brother was uh, playing football with David, David Alaba. Wow, no, that so is good. He was in our home when we was young, um, but no contact anymore. But might be soon. What? So, what? Uh, Roxy. Roxy. Roxy used to play football with David Alaba. Yeah, in the park. Because we okay. just live close to each other. When 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 Roxy was young, he was young. Come so. on, but you've got to keep, got to keep that friendship going. Surely, yeah, imagine true. all the, all the invites <laughs> to incredible games of football you could have got. True, true. Okay. Well, okay. On a similar note, has your success and your fame as a darts player has it opened up any doors? Have you ever been invited to some mad stuff or given some opportunities that you wouldn't have had normally? Been to some. Uh, Football game, soccer games. Yeah. Um, but that's it. Okay. But, uh, so you've 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 not been invited to you've not been invited to the Oscars. Let's say no darts players. Nah. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. It'll be all right. Uh, let's move on. Let's get to, let's get another one. Um, what do you do when you're not playing darts? How do you relax? Apart from your German love songs. <laughs> I'll spend time with the family. Okay, we do it doing what? Do we just wandering around the mountains? Yeah, we go the sheep. hiking, um, swimming. With the little one loves the pool. She never goes out. So have you I, got your own swimming pool? No, no, no. no. Oh, I thought you really not were yet. big time. Not, not, not yet. I hope so in, uh, in the future, but not yet. You do live up in the mountains, though. It's all very nice for hiking and all these outdoor yes. pursuits. And yes, I've never ever um, was in hiking, but I got everything now: shoes, trousers, everything, backpack. <laughs> With the backpack where uh, the little one is on my back, so it's hard to walk with with her on the back. <laughs> okay, biggest high and lowest low for you in in your sporting career. Biggest high definitely um, all the last year, 2021, mm -hmm. because I played really good. Didn't finish 64 on the ranking, but I had a decent year. Biggest low was between. 218 to 220. Um, just wasn't into darts, didn't have fun, uh, didn't practice that much because I just couldn't get any results. And we all know uh, if you get the results, if you get the, the wins, it builds your confidence. And that just didn't happen uh, in, in between. What's changed then? What's changed from you being at your lowest to now being at your highest? Definitely the private life as well. Um, I was in the in the right position in my life, personal life. I, I went to suffering times on my own, and uh, yeah, that went to to professionals who helped me out, and that's it, I think. Well, I mean, that's an extraordinarily earnest answer, which really does make a real mess of some of my fluffy questions that I've got <laughs> for you. So let's get a sporting hero. Sporting hero. Don't really have one. I mean, you could. Mentor is right there. You can say mentor. You said he's family. <laughs> but we're still not a, saying mentor. It's for me. It's it's hard to to say mentor because really it's like my second father. <laughs> yeah. No, that's fair enough. I, I I agree. Um, are you into? What's your weirdest pursuit? Are you into like adrenaline sports? How are you with roller coasters, for example? I'm all right. When I was young, I'd still do it if I have to, but. I'm thinking too much. Okay. What would you do a bungee jump? 
parachute jump? Um, I went to a, last year was it, I went to this big swing thing. So you jump yeah, off yeah. and it's swinging all around. It was 90 meters high, I think. So I've done that because we, we was uh, with friends. Uh, there was bungee jumping as well, but I didn't done that over there. You bottled the bungee jump? Yes. Okay, that's yes. fair enough. Uh, give me, just finally, to end your big 20 Roby John Rodriguez, give me the name of somebody who is going to become a world darts champion but isn't one already. Myself. Roby John Rodriguez. I <laughs> like the confidence. That's your big 20. Thank Cheers, you very man. much. Thank you.